Inner Soul, Live Your Lifestyle. This is another episode of the Inner Soul Show. I'm your host, the CEO. What's popping in Inner Soul news is new video from Inner Soul out now. Billionaire opinion on Ye. Y'all go check that out. Culture news. Instagram makes more ad revenue than YouTube. New core filings revealed. It was stated that Instagram made $32.4 billion in 2021 compared to YouTube making $28.8 billion. Um, Intersoul can make at least one. You know, and I'm going to really start off at the bottom and start off real low with my projections, you know, because Intersoul is going to be the next app. It's going to turn into an app eventually. It's going to be the next app, be the next Instagram, you know, YouTube. And that's going to be the platform for Intersoul. And I'm going to be able to sell ads to big companies and generate at least $1 billion in ad revenue a year, you know. Cause your boy got your boy got a plan, you know. Your boy got ideas, goals, aspirations. So I found it pretty useful this information because I never thought about the yearly earnings that these multi hundred billion dollar companies make. Um, so, well, maybe not multi hundred billion, but hundred billion dollars in worth that these companies are. I never thought about the yearly earnings, you know. So 32.4 for Instagram and 28.8 for YouTube. That's that's good loot, bro. That's good money, man. That they could just pour it back into their company or they could just do whatever they want to do with it. So ads are pretty big, you know, and and the soul is gonna be a part of this ad game. Mark my words, and I'm gonna do at least one billion, you know, at least one billion a year in ads. So yeah, man. Today's main event, I'm going to be explaining to y'all how to make money in 2024. Let's get into it. I got some advice from a billionaire one day, and he said, find your passion and match that with your skill. So advice from me to y'all is a billionaire advice you know that i received so one you got to find your passion you know and i know it's easier said than done because for the longest i couldn't i didn't know what my passion was so in my because in my mind it just sounded so off you know but until i really just put the pen and paper and came up with it i didn't know what it was but i had to put that pen to that paper and then no matter how off it sounded or how unrealistic it was i had to believe in myself and believe in it and say it and write it down you know so advice number one find your passion you know and match that with your skill and if you're able to find a connection between the two dang but then again you got to make sure it make money though <laughs> so probably find your monetary passion you know that's going to produce some income so yeah I'm, I'm gonna really be precise i like to be precise in what i say i like to go over what i say repeat myself so y'all understand it because i i like i work like that so advice one find your monetary passion and match that with your skill set another advice i got from a billionaire was to put all of your money in your product you know not necessarily diversify your money and into like certain different things you know like stocks or whatever you want to i'm not i'm not tripping on stocks that's more like millionaire abby alley to me and i'm on the billion billionaire side you know what i'm saying so i don't necessarily focus on what millionaires are doing even though i have to become a millionaire but like if i'm going to be a billionaire why not why stop with the millionaires and what they're doing you know what i'm saying so i'm put the advice number two i got from a billionaire so this is billionaire advice you know we're not we're not really messing around you know what i'm saying uh advice number two put all of your money in your product your service your company you know that's that's what i'm in the process of doing right now I put everything i have into inner so you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm on that right trajectory to be where I want to be. 
and have a B in my account. And advice number three coming from me is don't chase the money. You know, I know it's kind of ironic or whatever because we clicked on this video to know how to find money. But as far as like diving into avenues that you're not sure of or you're not passionate about, like uh, drop shipping, e-commerce, Amazon this, Amazon that, like stocks that you might not be up to date about and this all all that is cool i'm not knocking it like some people are actually interested in stocks you know like know stuff about it but people blew up off of drop shipping you know making money off amazon like, i'm not knocking it whatsoever but as far as becoming or feeling like you left behind because people glamorizing this and that and it's not in your alley that's cool bro it's cool to have your own lane you just gotta find your lane what you i'm in my own lane and now i'm in my lane i'm not tripping about none of that bro because i don't know none of that <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like i'm not i don't care for none of that bro i'm putting all my resources and all my money into what i believe in and what i'm comfortable with and what i believe is going to make me happy at the end of the day so advice one find your passion you know match that with your skill advice two: put all your money into your product your service your company your business you know put all your money into that and grow it you know come to inner soul if you want and have an opportunity to live off of your company your business your product your craft that's if you want to uh, so yeah, put all your money into that. Uh, and three, don't chase the money, man. I'm not chasing the bread. I'm gonna be. I don't want to be a billionaire, but I'm not chasing it. I'm chasing my passion. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, this is the second time I made this video. The first time, the audio didn't pick up. So I was saying that for millionaires, I'm gonna put this at the end. Like millionaires, I don't know too much about y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really tripping on that. Like, I know the billionaires or the millionaires, they like to diversify their portfolio. Like, to have money over here, money over there, money over there. But they're millionaire. But, like, the billionaires put all their stuff into one pot. And then they surpass the diversification that the millionaires are doing. And that's the rod I'm on, bro. So I don't really, I don't really know too much about the millionaires, man. You know what I'm saying? Because why would I, why would I study the millionaires if I'm trying to become a B? I already study the billionaires, and like, like, and and then again, I could shoot for the B and land on the M, but the M not gonna be enough for me. But like shooting for the stars, landing on the moon, I could shoot for the B and land on the M. But if I shoot for the M, what I'ma land on? Like thousands? Come on, bro. <laughs> you know so yeah uh find your passion match that with your skill find your monetary passion that makes money match that with your skill two put all your money into your product you know three don't chase the money and two of those strategies are from billionaires you know you didn't just click the video for nonsense bro <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. Today's product of the day is a song by Beamer Rocky Bands called Game Over. Let's get into it.
this shit like that And we gon' test their defense I don't wanna make amends Gotta write this out in blood He bought the future. This the moment. <laughs> hey man, I think bro was on one when he made this dog. The production on the song, really that whole album, bro, was just amazing, bro. Uh, I think this song was it's one of his top three songs ever, dog. And I think another song on that album is another top three song. So two of his top three songs is a part of that album, I believe, bro. And it has no, it's, even though this song is kind of old, I'm not knocking his new stuff. I'm just saying, bro, like, he was just different on the mugs, dog. The production was there, the beat, the bars, the delivery, everything was just flowing, man. And I really appreciate stuff like that. Good music, man. So shout out to that man, Bima Rocky Bands. This was a good product. This has been another episode of the Inner Soul Show. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. Inner soul. Live your lifestyle. Peace.